If you would not heard a bit about what happened to my Fisher and Paykel Fabric Smart, well, unfortunately, it's gone. Here's an interesting story behind it. Before we decided we were gonna get rid of it, but uh, we decided to keep it because it'd be a nice idea to use it in my shed and obviously play around with, obviously, because I want to do my first repair on appliance like washing machine. <laughs> there was a bit of mix up which led to washing wash machine we put, put on sale without my knowledge until the buyer turned up to, to the door. <laughs> so yeah, it was a bit, bit of um, frustration and, and stress going on so just had to put my heart on on the buy and just let it go. But action was taken to get me another washing machine. Yeah, it's a wash smart, it's a bit of a downgrade from the one I had. But I'm happy with what I got. <clears throat> Condition of it is not the best. Bit of rust. And scuffs. Obviously, when they move around, it scrapes along something. Quite typical, but what could you do? <laughs> whatever that's happened here, whatever that was scraping. Water hoses are good. So, everything seems to look good, and <clears throat> since I have nowhere to connect the waters, hoses, um, I'm, I'm only going to do a test on one cycle, which is spin, just to make sure everything works. So, let's unplug this lamp real quick here. Power's on. <coughs> yeah, everything's all lit up. Everything works, works good. Alright, now we'll do the test with the cycle. Cycle started. Lead locks. Good. Got some water out. Chuck a clothing in there yet because um it's um I still need to clean it and obviously the previous owner's germs would be in it. <laughs> you don't want to wash my clothes in there. <laughs> Everything seems to go well. That's odd. What have they done to the agitator? <coughs> hmm. Dang. Okay, I'm gonna have to buy a new agitator for this thing.
suspension rod seems pretty good. RPMs. Yeah, it's only a thousand RPMs this will go. <coughs> My fabric smarts goes about 1100. So yeah, bit of a difference. RPMs. <coughs> it's looking good. <coughs> wow, that's a long, it's a long spin cycle. It's <coughs> got a bit of water out of there. While that thing goes, I'll explain the differences about. <coughs> this this machine and also the fabric smart I used to own. So obviously this is a bit of a downgrade from the fabric smart, as you can tell, because you know <coughs> it's still that nice grey tempered glass lid and now has this some um, white plastic lid. <coughs> of course we're missing out on gadgets on a knob with loads of cycles but now it's limited to only, only six six touch control cycles <coughs> oh and also shorter spin cycle and a much faster spin cycle than this I don't think this one... <coughs> yeah, this one does not have a eco-active. <coughs> the fabric smart does. Both the machines do get the features like the, the auto, auto level, um, five, five water temperature settings. also eco rinse and soak but the fabric smart does not have a advance wash you have to advance it with the knob which this machine doesn't have so yeah now you see the differences I'll let this one go until the cycle ends. It's at the three minute mark and finished. <laughs> oh, 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Finished quite early to the time to go display. <laughs> quite strange, but oh well. Yes, yeah, so one thing I noticed while I was spinning. Cut the the fins for the agitator for. <laughs> That's strange. Huh. Guys, don't even think about doing that because you will ruin your clothes this way because any sharp edges can <coughs> can pierce through the clothing. So so yeah, don't do that stuff. <coughs> you might as well just buy a whole new agitator if you even do that. <laughs> A waste of money. <laughs> oh well, there's plenty of agitators to find to put in. <coughs> All you gotta do is just move that, move that nut, and it comes out. So yeah, fish and particle. It's all about simplicity and reliability. So yeah, this thing works good. Not the best condition, but. Works great. Alright, stay tuned for the servicing I'll be doing to it. So, a good clean up and also <coughs> get rid of all those marks and place the agitator and also possibly the <coughs> basket ring. That thing is pretty scuffed up. I don't know what has been scraping along there. It's quite strange. <laughs> Sometimes you'll meet the most typical people or owners who do stuff to their, their laundry appliance. <laughs> oh well, that's pretty much it. Like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're interested in my videos. Other than that, you all have a good one.